the Joe Rogan experience. Hmm. How much does the Cybertruck weigh? Uh, it depends on configuration, but it's about I don't know seven thousand pounds. Whoa! Six th- there's different versions, but six six seven thousand pounds. It's, it's it's like similar to like it's a heavy truck, like a Ford F two fifty or something like that. Yeah, and it. Because of uh, all of the, the the metal and the weight and everything like that, but with the engines that you have, it's still the zero to sixty is pretty bizarre, right? It's like three five or something like that. We're aiming to get the zero to sixty below three seconds. Below three. Yes. Wow. For the you know, the beast mode version. So we've got a beast mode version. That's uh, um. So there's there's there's. Well, I don't want to g- give it all away. Right now, but um, there are there are three demonstrations. One of them people are aware of, which is uh, you know em- emptying a Tommy gun into the side of the car, um, a shotgun, forty five and a nine mil, and no penetrations. Wow! And that's that come it comes that way from the factory. Can I try it with an arrow? Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> you think so? I mean, a, 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 I bet I can a get in. A crossbow there. might. I have a ninety pound compound bow. That shoots 520 grain arrows at 300 feet per second with a I think an arrow, I, razor I, sharp I broadhead. We can try it right now if you want. I wish I had it with me. Um, <coughs> I don't. Is it at your house or something? Yeah. Should we send someone to go get it? We, we no. could do the demo tonight. That would be interesting. I'll walk, I'll, maybe I'll drive back with an arrow sticking out of my car. I bet I can get in there. Okay, I'll bet you can't. Really? Yeah, I'll bet you a dollar. Damn. <laughs> I'd like. Damn, I, I think. I, I think I... if if you have a a crossbow that's with with enough force, you might a crossbow. The thing about a crossbow is the through. bolt, even though it's very fast, it's <clears> not going to be nearly as heavy. You you won't you, have you, as many you can grains. Make, you you can make a a, a heavy crossbow bolt. You could. Yeah. yeah, but generally, uh, crossbow bolts are considerably lighter. They're much smaller. You know, and they they they're much faster. They're they're moving at like four hundred, five hundred feet per second. Easy. Yeah, I mean the the thing that matters is kind of the energy per unit area. So um, so interesting, like like a like a nine mil or a forty five, which is basically sort of a ten mil. Um, the 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 forty five is they're roughly the same, but the the forty five actually is slightly worse penetration than a nine mil. You know what I just realized? I do have some broadheads. I do have some broadheads, and I have a less powerful bow, but I have an eighty pound bow Go back there. I think we should do it. Absolutely. Okay. When you want to do it right now? Yeah, I can do it right now. Okay, let's do it right now. Let's find out. Fuck yeah, let's do it. (laughs) Sick. We'll be right back. I have a different broadhead. I think we need to bring it back. We'll see what we do. We'll get a sense of it here. Just don't, don't, you know, have the arrow come back in. I'm going to shoot the door. I mean, just beware of ricochets. <laughs> you might want to do it at a slight angle. <laughs> you know what I mean? There it is. Flatten the tip of the arrow. Look at the tip of the broadhead. Oh, That's this. impressive. Hey, cutie. Wow. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now we know. So uh, we uh, just shot an arrow into it, and it, it barely scratched it. Barely scratched it. Yeah. It was probably moving 275 feet a second. That was a 525 grain ish arrow with. Uh, yeah, even more than that, because it had the 125 grain head, so that was 545 grains. That's impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. It just destroyed the broadhead. The broadhead flattened at the tip, and then the arrow blew apart. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, it, like I said, you could, um, we have a, a cool video we'll show at the handover event next month, uh, which is emptying an entire magazine of a Tommy gun, which I think is like <laughs> on the order of 50 rounds. Of four. <laughs> Uh, just go, you're just going full El Capone, you know, like out on the side of the car, shotgun, 9mm, 45. And you built it like this just for fun? 
Well, I mean, because uh, it's cooler. I mean, because you can. <laughs> you know, uh, trucks are supposed to be tough, right? Yeah. So, is your truck bulletproof? No, mine is. Mine's definitely not. Exactly. And if I shot mine with my my bow, would go right through it. One hundred percent. So, if if you if you shoot any normal car, unlike in the movies where people hide behind car doors, uh, a car door is basically a very thin, mild steel. Uh, so, uh, if you if you shoot a gun at a, through through like a regular truck, it'll go out. It'll go through both doors. So, um, it's it, you can't hide behind a, a car door like they do in the movies. Mm. You know, the back way back in the day, dating myself, but the the A Team where they would like, you know, there'd be like bullets flying everywhere and they'd be hiding behind the car door. Right. That doesn't work. Um, but it does in a cyber truck. 